Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77. We are in full craft today. This is full craft 2.0. I think it's 2.01 actually, but it's 2.0. It's the new season of full craft. And we have a server that's being hosted, so it should be less laggy than the last season. And I know you've been waiting for it. I've been waiting for it. So we are here. I just logged in. I don't even know what's going on. I have nothing except for my good old uh, journal book, whatever this is, and materials in you. This is that old standard book, but we've seen it before. So yeah, we haven't done anything. I haven't even punished this tree. Let's go get this tree real quick. I want to use the vein miner. I hope it's all set up. There we go. Look at that. We have some wood. Apparently there's some water down there. That's pretty cool. Anyway, yes, we are back, and this is going to be a lot of fun. Now, last season, it was just really me playing, if you remember. This season, a lot of the members that were on the Tinker World server, which is my vanilla server and series that I do on YouTube, they're going to join us. So we're going to have a bunch of people on here. It's going to be fantastic. I can't wait to see what they do. It'd be nice to do some pranks and some playing around with them too. So it's going to be great. Now, um, the other thing is, oh, that was interesting. A little rubber banding going on there. The other thing is that Pause Player 10 doesn't get a lot of time to play. So he's going to be sharing the base with me. Now, you know, I'll be probably making most of the stuff because I'll be on more than he will be. But uh, he will be see, uh, making changes. He will be uh, doing some things with me and adding to the base as he goes. So, you know, hey, that's what will happen. And uh, I'll be thankful he's there because he has some great ideas as well. He also has a YouTube channel. Look for Pause Player 10, one word. It's got a little more rubber banding there. So I'm not sure what that's about. You know, like I said, just logged in. So I'm going to start to head off into this direction here. I'm trying to find a good location for a base. Um, and so we'll do that. Now see here, this is kind of neat looking right here. Something, something has a hat with a rocket on it. What is that? Is that a pig? Let's go look. Looks like a pig. There are these hats that you can wear. And that'd be a really cool hat to get. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to make a wooden sword really quick here. Um, let's see here. Let's get some wood. And let's make a crafting table. And you know how to do that. And some sticks. Put that down there. We're going to get this hat, I hope. Wouldn't that be cool to start off with? There we go. Got our wooden sword. Okay. I hope you better not be the pig of destiny. There's a little bit of lag right there for a second. Not sure why. Oh, I'm hitting with a stick. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I like he's only taking half hard damage. There we go. That's a little better. Did I get it? I didn't get it. Oh well. That happens. So let me go off and oh, is that a chance cube? Oh, we got our first chance cube. Let's do this real quick. Uh oh, what is that? Oh, it's a sand chicken too. What is this? Demonically gargantuan drum with 65,536 barrels of water in it. Holy moly. Wow, we're off to a really good start. We don't need water ever again. Not sure what I'll use all that water for. But yeah, we're in full craft. This is great. I'm enjoying it. Let's uh, start to move forward towards where I want to have a base. Let's go find that right now. On my way to find a base, I found this spot here. Look at this. There are two of these, it uh, looks like asteroids or meteors. I guess they're meteors because they actually hit. Or the meteorite. Meteorite. Yes, a meteorite. Meteors. Asteroids are out in space. Meteors hit the atmosphere. Meteorite hits the ground. Is that right? I think it is. Anyway, there's this huge crater here, and you can see these two objects. Now, the interesting thing is that these are very useful for some of the things that we'll be doing later, um, but I can't mine these right now because of the fact that I don't have uh, the tools. I need to have higher related tools to mine these. So I'm going to mark this down, and I'm going to come back to this after I have the tools ready to go. But this is very cool. When Pause Player 10 and I were talking about what we wanted for a spot we talked about having a rundown medieval area like a castle or something we also wanted we thought maybe in a mesa or something so we made some cliffside stuff and look at this we've got some rundown castle already 
Looks like it's got some walls from the map and stuff, but we also have a cliff and things. So I think this is going to be the location, at least starting out, for the base. Let me go take a look at it, and we will see what it is. This looks like an old rundown church. There's like pews here, going up to this area here. So I'm going to assume that's what this is. Looks really cool. We're going to make this our base. So let me uh, get this crafting table down and just make a sleeping bag and sleep. Or I mean a bed, I mean. Let's uh, do that. So I have three wool. So we have that. There we go. We have that. At least I thought we had three wool. Oh, we don't have enough wool. Okay, well, this is going to have to be our hiding hole for a little bit. Um, I'm going to try to about secure it with lights and some things. Since I have some of that and I have some of that, we've got some torches. Okay, let's uh, make this inside of this place secure and see if I can survive the night inside of this run-down little church. I survived the night, and I've been doing some cleanup both inside and outside of the building here, this old church that I have uh, found. Now, I did get the um, some chests here and, you know, just basic stuff. We can work on this. And I've been working on the courtyard. Now, here's what's interesting is that as I was clearing it, there were little... Uh, pieces of stone and I found some spawners. This was very tricky because they were spawners here, there's one there, and there's one over there. Then, quite on accident, I happened to break one of the blocks and out came silverfish. And so every one of these blocks that you see here that if they're missing is a silverfish. So if I kill this one right here, it's a silverfish. So I'm having to fight these guys and of course it'll make more come out. There they go. And I've been killing them off and slowly I'll replace those blocks with real blocks that aren't silverfish. Uh, but it's kind of interesting. It's a neat little trap. And if you were here, you wouldn't have known that. So I'm going to keep continue on to, to uh, secure this area and then um, move on. But man, this caught me off guard when I saw it. But look at all the loot bags we're getting from this, too. And lots of experience. So this is a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun with Bullcraft. How about you? What do you think? So one of the first things you have to do in any game that you play with Minecraft is you really have to work out some storage. Now I'm going to work out a temporary storage. You see I've got some chests here. What I'm going to make is a 3x3 colossal chest. Now that's just temporary. Eventually I'll be using a better storage system. But for now a 3x3 colossal chest would be nice. Now to make a colossal chest you mostly need colossal chest walls. Which is just wood and uh, like wood planks and then a wood core at the center. So let's see if I can do that. Let's put this in here. And let's see, here we go. He says we can have two of those. Now the way this works is, let's see if I can make some more here. Um, right here. Okay, so now we got 16. Now let me see if that's enough. That's not going to be enough, but let's see. What you need to do is you put down what you need as far as the layers. Okay, there's one. I'm thinking I might even put it embedded in. Let me do that. Let me do something else here, okay? Put it in the ground. Get rid of these blocks. And we'll put it down. Basically, you make a three by three chest with a hole in the center. Okay, so there we have all those blocks there. Okay, so now we're gonna make the bottom layer. Okay, then we make the next layer. And I'm gonna put the core, I'm gonna put the core over on the side here just to have it someplace else not in front. Okay, actually, no, I'll put it in the front. I'll put it, uh, where am I gonna put the core? This is one of those deliberation things. I'm not sure how it affects it, but let's put it right. We'll put it right down in here, down in this corner. We won't even see it. Okay. So it'll be there. Let me get rid of this thing here so we can see it. Okay. That's where the core will go. So it looks like we need a core, and then we need nine more up here. So let's start to make those really quick. Let's see here. Let's get some wood. Okay. And then let's go around like this. Okay, well, 12 will work, I think. So now we're going to make this up here. And see, I have the center hollowed out. But now if I did it right, all I need to do is get the core right there and this thing will function correctly. So to make this, you got to make the colossal chest core. And there it is. And we have it made. Now when I put this in here, that's the wrong one. When I put it in there, it should then activate this into a chest. And unfortunately, it's going the wrong way. I wish it would face the other way. I'm going to try to tweak it. But there we go. It's a colossal chest, 3x3. Three three, and that way we have everything stored in there that we want. So let me uh, try to figure this out and get the spacing the right way. Because that's a pain. Near this uh, 
decrepit church. I also found out that we have a pyramid here and a slime island over there. And the slime island is very useful. And I'm going to go over there right now. The reason why I want to go there is I can then get the materials to make slime boots and a slime sling, which I used uh, a lot in uh, full craft in my last season, if you remember. So I'm going to head over there and pillar up, and uh, we'll see what we can find. I also have with me a couple of animal nets, so if I find any uh, the chickens that I want, I will take them. There are some chickens, but not the regular ones that we want. These are just regular chickens. So, yep, we're going to go get some uh, slime. Slimes are everywhere. They're falling down from the uh, top, which is fine with me. I don't have to pillar up to get them. We'll just get these for a while until we have enough slime. Wow, look at all those. Get slime balls everywhere. This is great. Wow, they're everywhere. I do have stone armor on me, so I mean, I'm not completely defenseless. I really should get out of the water, though. There we go. Okay. Wow, that one's, look at that one's got a little hat. That's, <laughs> that's very funny. Ooh, we got the hat. That's cool. Thank you. So we're getting a lot of slime, and I don't know how many I need for what I'm trying to do. So let's uh, kill these off, and then I'll see if I have enough to make uh, some slime boots and a slime sling. Oh, loot bags. This is so much fun. I'm having a little blast. Oh, that's great. Good feels good to be back and not be lagging out and stuff. Okay, let's grab all these real quick and then we're gonna run. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, get up here. Okay, we're safe now. Okay, now let's see what we can do here. The slime sling takes slime balls. We have that a congealed bun. It takes one of those. We need a crafting table down, and I brought one with me just in case. Let's do that. Okay, so we need one of those. Okay, and then we need those items. I brought the string with me. There we have a slime sling. Excellent. Now, we need to get slime boots. Uh-oh. There they are. Four slime blocks. Okay, so it takes those, right? Uh, do we have enough? Oh, no. We don't have enough, do we? Oh, wait, we do. Wait. Split it up. Okay. Why is it? Oh, duh. Need another one. There we go. Wow, Tinker's having some trouble with math today. But there, we should be able to get slime boots and ba boom. Let's put those on. Awesome. Okay. Now, if you re everyone recalls, with the slime sling and the slime boots on, Ooh, I didn't. I took fall damage. Those are not the right slime boots. These slime boots are what I need. Wow, that was close. Okay, so we gotta go back and get some more slime. Let me go do that. We'll get some more slime and then uh, make some slime boots. Okay, I should have enough now. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm excited. Here we go. Need two of those and two of those, and we get slime boots. Now we should be able to fly and not take fall damage. So let me put them on. There we go. And we'll use the slime sling. We're going to try that again. So here we go. There we go. We're bouncing like normal. Excellent. This makes exploration a lot easier because I can just go and fly. Let's go this way. See that? Makes it great. And I see right over there glass. That's typically a hermitron. Okay, I'm going to go get it and see what happens. Ooh, coal and sand. Oil sand. What is that? Let's see. I guess we got bitumen. Nice. Okay, well, let me go uh, get that Hermitron. Running up here, I see two Hermitrons and some moo cows, fluid cows. Oh, and look at that, a village, and up there is another Hermitron. We're just having a great start. This is fantastic. Okay, vein mine it. Look at that. No, it's no mystic. Mythics. Which is usual. I never had any mythics. It took forever. I got two, I think, through all of last season. Isn't that crazy? But, you know, hey, we're getting there. This is awesome. No mythics. But we got some Hermitrons, which really are awesome because, uh-oh, it's getting dark. I'm going to run to the village. Actually, I'm going to fly to the village. 
because the village probably will have a bed and that way I can uh, sleep and I can also raid the village and get all the resources so this is a good thing getting to a village so let me get this Hermitron here we go is there a mythic come on mythic no okay so wow it's a pretty big village too someone's gotta have a bed somewhere so let me find a bed and we'll sleep and then we'll raid the village this is what I was hoping for to find some of the chickens this is a flint chicken I'm gonna grab that one I thought there was another one around here had a weird helmet on there it is so we're gonna grab that one too okay so now we have two flint chickens we can start to breed these chickens which is great there's other base chickens there's the log chicken and the sand chicken but I did find the flint chicken and over there is the base let's see if we can get over there real quick I haven't done this in a while let's go with the slime sling and boom sort of there's a rooster right there here we go and we're back to the homestead now I haven't uh, started a mine yet and there's a chance cube uh, maybe I'll do the chance cube in a little bit but um, I haven't done a mine yet so I haven't made any stone brick to go all the way around so I haven't filled in all these spots but monsters can't go through it anyway maybe a little uh, zombie baby can go through but you know hey that's okay we're doing okay I also planted all the raspberry bushes that I found because these things will grow and we can have big uh, it's like a food source there so I, I'm getting a nice base kind of set up for what I want it's looking kind of good so what should I do this season? Hey, you know, if you have any uh, suggestions for things that you want to see me do this season, um, put them in the comments. Let me know. This is a lot of fun. I'm enjoying this. I've, I want to go, 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 and I don't know, like, where I should stop for this video because there's so much I want to do. I want to get the chickens done. I want to get power done. I want to start working on real storage systems, and we got food sources, and got to start a mine. I just so much I want to do. Tinker smeltery. Just all sorts of stuff. Excellent. Oh, it's a lot of fun. One of the things added with Foolcraft this uh, time around, this second season, is the idea of this quest book. And uh, basically, it's a big book here. It just says Foolcraft, and you go in, you can do quests. And there's various things. Now, it, I pretty much did the first one already, which is I wish you would. And basically, it says um, basically getting in 32 logs, which I've done already. And you get rewards. We got fences and hot wings and an apple sapling. That's kind of cool. Now, see, there's various things here that you can do, okay? And so let's do this one right here. Tools of the trade or making ends meet. Let's do tools of the trade. Unfortunately, there has been a recall on all the crafting benches. You'll be able to trade your crafting bench in at your local crafting bench for an updated table that functions a lot better. And if we do that, we got to get this uh, crafting station. We would get another quartz pickaxe. Well, to get that, all you do is you go up to your crafting bench and you put a crafting bench in here and you get this. And I believe you should be able to get the quest complete. There we go. Tools of the trade. So then when you go out into the, this, you see it's here, you can say claim your prize and done. And you can see that that has now turned green. These are the options, the ones that are red that I can possibly do. Now if I go out here, you can see I have a nether quartz pickaxe. So this kind of gives you a way of uh, a goals that you can do in full craft. In, in Sky Factory 3, they had a quest book. This is a similar idea that you can do and we'll be going through this. We'll be making sure we get all of these done. But that's something that's kind of cool too. Okay? I like that. To make the nests that we need for the chickens, we need to have a lot of wheat so that we can make hay. So I've made a little plot of land here. I'm going to plant out a lot of the seeds because when I uh, cleaned this out, this was all grassy and everything. So I had a lot of seeds that came about from that, which is kind of good. So we're going to make this a little farmland and we're going to get some of the enough stuff that we need to get the hay bales which makes the nest so then we can make the nesting pens and then when we have all of that we can then have those uh, chickens that we just picked up be uh, growing and growing and growing until we get 10 10 10 chickens and I'll explain more of that when we get there I'm gonna put a piece of carpet right over here against it there we go now if you don't know in full craft I'll go this view you can if you shift or you're basically uh, sneaking it forces stuff to grow faster see how it's growing it's a lot faster so all you have to do is just sit around and do this and then you can harvest your plants and then you can get them back again and do it over and over again and then you can have the resources you need so I'm gonna grow this for a little while and I'm gonna see about getting enough for to make some nests and some uh, yeah nesting pens and we'll get those chickens uh, at least growing and getting better okay breeding 
Sounds good. Alrighty, I harvested all of that wheat, and I was able to make eight hay bales. We need two nests, so I'm going to make those right here. There we go, two nests. Now we're going to make a nesting pen, which is just the wood and the nest. So let's see here. I don't think I have wood yet. Oh, yeah, I do have wood. There we go. Okay, one, two, and there we have it. Excellent. Now I'm going to make a little, um, I probably should do it over here, someplace out of the way. Um, so I'll do it right against here, I think. Yeah, let's just do it right here. Okay, so we're going to put down first, I want to have an iron chest. Let's put this, uh, so if I get rid of this torch, let's see. We do have some uh, point there where they can um, spawn. We are not want that though, but that's okay. I'm going to put the iron chest down right here, um, right there. Okay, that's the iron chest. That works out really great. Now I need to put a hoppers going into that. So I'm going to put a hopper here going into it. I need another hopper. So let's go do that really quick. This should be easy. Take the chest. This is old vanilla hoppers. Here we go. Okay. Now, I have two hoppers. Now, if the nests sit on top of that, then the chickens, one there, one there, their drops will go into this chest. And now, we're set to go. I can take here, this thing. There's one of the flint chickens. And there's the other flint chicken. Now, he lost his hat, it looks like. And so that's something to be considered when you see the hats if you want them. But now they're going to start uh, to do their drops. And because they're next to each other, they can then, because these are basic 1-1 one -one chickens, we can get higher level chickens and their drops will be in here. And we'll slowly get up to 10-10 chickens. Now, these chickens are great because, as you saw from my uh, previous uh, Fullcraft series, I was able to get basically all the resources I ever needed from the chickens. So, and the base level, or like level zero, if you will, of chickens is flint, sand, and log. And we also get bone white chicken somewhere. So we have some of the chickens. We're going to get some of this stuff. This is going to be great. All righty. One of the last things I want to do for this video is I want to get some lava. Lava was usually uh, very good for a power source and other things. And since we need to get some, we're going to go fly around here and looking for a lava pool. I'm going to turn off the uh, spawn stuff there. Now, see, I'm looking around. Do I see any lava pools? There's a lava pool right over there. As you can see it on the map. Let's just do a short hop. There we go. And there's a Hermitron over there. But here's the pool. Okay. So what I have made here is I made a barrel. I'm going to put this down. Now, I have a bucket. And with this bucket, I will grab a lava and throw it into the barrel. And as I slowly do this, we'll actually start to clear out this entire area. But we'll have lots of lava to use for our whatever needs we want. This is a little bit tedious. I know there's probably an automatic ways to do this and that I'm not doing it right now, but that's okay. This isn't that hard. That doesn't take any time. We'll slowly get all the resources here and then we'll be uh, set to go. So let me go do this and then we'll get that Hermitron. And that's about it, I think. I think I've got all the lava done. Let's see if it's, yep, that's all done. Okay. There we go, we have our lava we can use for whatever we want. Now I believe there was a Hermitron somewhere over here, right over there. Let's go over there and get that real quick. A little bit of lag spike there. We'll tolerate that. That's not too bad. Compared to what we had last season, this is working great. Okay, so here we are. Okay, let's get this. We're going to vein mine. Excellent. And no mythic. That's okay. We got a Hermitron, which is basically like a shulker box. So excellent. We did all that. And so this way, on that direction, should be our base. Looks like there's more lava over that way, I think. But I'm not going to get it. I'm going to wait. I've got it plenty. What's that? Hmm, looking around, seeing things. Okay, well, let's get back to base. Here we go. We'll do that one more time. It's kind of fun bouncing around. Our base is up on top of that hill up there. I feel like a gummy bear. If you ever watch the show Gummy Bears, that's what it's kind of like. Okay, we're gonna do this again, and boom. There we go. We're up in a spot, we'll keep on going up. And our house is right over there, so let's go right over there, ready? Pow! And just like that, we're back home. Slime slings are excellent. If you get the chance to get one, 
do it because they're very worth it. And that with the slime boots, uh, you can just go everywhere you need. Okay, so we have lava now. I'm going to put this down to our water barrel. There we go. All right, so I think that's all I have time for today. I'm going to try to get this out today. If I don't, it'll be tomorrow. Um, but we'll see. When you watch it, you'll uh, get to see all this great stuff. Ooh, have they dropped anything yet? They dropped some flint. I don't care. Okay. Well, that's about it. I hope you like this video. I hope you're enjoying Fullcraft. Please, if you know anybody who likes Fullcraft or wants to watch these videos, forward it on to them, okay? I really could use the uh, help. So again, if you like this video, please click the like button down the bottom. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section. Give me some suggestions of what you want to see this season. That'd be fantastic. And then, of course, if you'd like to subscribe to this channel, please do so. Also, let anybody else know they can subscribe as well. Uh, don't forget to hit the little bell icon. That way you get notified when I do publish videos. So that's about it. Thank you. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.